Hello everyone, welcome back. As you can see, I'm playing Resident Evil 7, and today I'm going to be doing Band Footage Volume 2, 21. That is a mouthful there. <laughs> this one is basically, if you've ever heard of 21 or Blackjack, whatever it is, it's a card game, and you're basically playing between you and the other guy. Now, I don't usually give warnings before videos, but this one is very graphic. I have already played it, and it is basically the entire time you're going to be watching two guys getting tortured. So, if that turns you off, then go ahead and turn off this video as well. Because it, uh, it ramps up. It gets more torturous as it goes on, so you have been forewarned. That being said, it is a fun DLC, and it is very, very creepy. I'll give them that much. It's definitely the most graphic thing they've done so far in Resident Evil 7. You basically, you go in three different stages, and the first one is one kind of torture, the second one's another kind of torture, and then the third one is not so much a torture as it is death. So the third one you really can't screw up on. What the... Go ahead and show you the cutscene here. You are playing as Clancy again, by the way. I will say, Lucas is probably my favorite character in this, as far as the enemies go. He definitely has the most personality. A little psychopath. <laughs> so anyway, as you can see, we were playing Blackjack, but uh, the rules are a little different. You don't bet with chips. In the first round here, you bet with your fingers. <laughs> This is a uh, Hoffman over here. Not really sure who he is, but he's uh he's playing against you, so you know it's me or him. <laughs> now, as you can see, the way he's explaining the rules, it's basically I don't know if this this probably isn't like blackjack, but in this one, there's only one of each card. So if there's a six on the field, that means there's no six in the deck. So as you can see, I have a seven and a six, and he has a nine over there, and then a mystery card. So it's a little bit easier than your typical blackjack because, let's say, you need like a three and there's no threes on the field and there's like seven cards on the field. So now you know, oh, there's pretty good odds of getting a three. So it's not bad. You can get screwed over pretty hard, though, as you might see here, because I'm going to hit. Oh, god damn it. Right off the bat. Oh, my god. Are you kidding me? I was hoping I could save a finger through this. I haven't beat this without losing a finger, so... I mean, I guess... <laughs> you'll see what happens when you lose a hand. And the violence starts. <laughs> what am I gonna do, hit? I'm already bust. Yeah, there's no way he's gonna bust, so... I definitely lost this round. If you both bust, then it's a draw. Whichever... Well, not it's a draw. Whichever one's closer to 21. Alright. Take my finger. Wait, 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 wait! Yep. Yeah. <laughs> there that goes. You psycho fuck, you really did it! <laughs> you can play this in VR, by the way. It'd be pretty terrifying. I need that VR, I swear. Every time I see footage of this game in VR, people say it's like 20 times better. Yeah, see, now in stage 2, well, not stage 2, but the second round, now you move up to two fingers, and then the final one is three fingers. So either way, you only get three rounds to win. I'm not going to win with 11, so... Oh! Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, that was scary. But it's, uh... Let's see, he has to have an 11 under there in order for him to win. So, fingers crossed, he does not have an 11. Otherwise, I am losing two more fingers. I really like Blackjack, by the way. That's why this DLC speaks to me. Oh, thank God. Alright, sorry, Hoffman. <laughs> it is just gruesome. 
See, this is uh, what I was telling you at the beginning of the video. It just gets worse from here. They just, uh, they ramp up the torture harder and harder. So, you know. <laughs> I mean, you knew what you were getting into when you clicked on this video. There's no going back now. <laughs> Alright, shit. I mean, if I get an 8 or higher, I'm screwed. So, this is a tough one. Actually, no, an 8 would be good. Never mind what I said. <laughs> uh, Screw it. Roll the dice. I got one finger left. Oh, my God! Oh, just as I was saying it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, there's no way he's getting 21. See, he needs an 8 in his hand, and there's no 8 left. I have the, I have the only 8 right now. You're screwed, Hoffman. Now, the cool thing is, because the AI can't see the card that's upside down, just like I can't see his card that's upside down, he will make choices based off what he can see. So, he doesn't know I have 21 right now. Yep, I knew I was going to win that one. Damn, he wasn't even close. Sorry, Hoffman. There go your fingers. Oh, shit. God, I couldn't imagine the pain of playing this. At least I only lost one finger. The first time I played this, I lost three fingers. So, I mean, Clancy can live without his pinky. He's fine. <laughs> yeah, come on, Lucas. Let me out, you bitch. Nope. Hoffman's getting back in the game. Now this is where it gets interesting, and you will see in a second. Oh, that's the spirit, Hoffman. Sorry, Clancy. I guess we're playing another round. What the fuck? What the? Hey, hey, what's going on? <laughs> yep. <laughs> see, this is the part where it uh they they ramp up a, a little bit here. <laughs> it gives you a little demonstration. <laughs> Yeah. That would be pretty painful. <laughs> now this one I almost died on the first time. I got struck all the way on level 9. And <laughs> it's so powerful at level 9 that your skin starts to boil. And there's like open flesh wounds everywhere. So it looks graphic. Very, very graphic. Yeah, so you basically you go up one one node every time you win or lose. Here comes the interesting twist. Ta -da. You get trump cards. See, this one is your opponent's bet increases by two while this card is on the table. Now, that is a good one because it can make them lose quicker. And this one's draw the six card. Now, that is a problem because if you look at the field and there's a six, you can't use it. Now, also at the same time, if you look at the field and he has a six, the one that's face down and you don't know, you still lose it because it's technically still on the field. So, uh, you know, I'll do the bet raise. Why not? Make him lose quicker. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna use the six. I'm gonna stay at 17. That'll be... Oh, shit! He's got a six on him. Okay. What are the odds? <laughs> Just as I was saying that. So, yeah, his face down card is a six. Well, shit. Uh, okay, no, that's good, actually, because he has the 11, so that means I can't go bust, no matter what I get. Because he goes from one to 11. Oh! Oh, the perfect draw. Oh, my God. I was actually hoping it'd be 10. I'm doing... I'm on fire this game. Jesus. Sorry, Hoffman. You're gonna get jolted a little. It's gonna get jolted up to three on this one. Sorry, buddy. Ooh. Oh, wait. Did he destroy my card? Cause it, it didn't put him on too higher. Return. Return the last face-up card you drew to the deck. Now, that is a good card. That one, if you go bust, you can use it to get rid of that card. And it doesn't put it back in the deck, it actually gets rid of it completely. So you don't have a chance of drawing it again. So let's say I go bust right now. Oh, yep. <laughs> so now I can use the card to get rid of that card. Oh, you you son of a bitch. You think you're going to get me, huh? Not today, Hoffman. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. I have reasons to live too, alright? <laughs> okay, now... If I get a 10, I'm also screwed, so let's hope. No 10! Oh, I got a trump. Nice. Alright, now what's the other card? Give me the next one. Oh, uh, now that's that's kind of shitty. Uh, it's going to be a hard one to go for. I need an 8 or lower. So that means... I don't think anyone's drawn a 10 yet. There's no 11s. Uh, this is risky. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll go for it. Hit me. 
Oh my god. Terrible, and I'm gonna get jolted for four. Son of a bitch. Alright. I don't have any. Th yep, no. Nope. Alright. Just, just zap me. Get it over with. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Clancy. <laughs> yeah, there was no way he was gonna bust on that one. Yep. Here we go. Yep. Ah. Oh, yeah, you can see his skin starting to crack and. Ugh. God, I couldn't. Could you imagine being in this situation? <laughs> it's just crazy. Yeah, he's got a lot of depressing dialogue in him. <laughs> Alright, I got. So I got a four and I got a three in my trump cards. Ooh! That's actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm not going to screw around on this one. I'm just going to use the four, hopefully, if he doesn't already have one. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, I'll do the three as well. Why not? All right. Now I'm going to raise his bet. <laughs> this is a pretty much guaranteed win here. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, my odds are still good. There's no way I'm hitting again. If I hit again, he's got me. Oh, shit. No, now we're at seven. Damn it. Uh, he's probably got me anyway. Yeah, there's like, the odds of me getting like a 1 or a 2 are extremely low, so I'm just going to stay. It would literally need to be either a 1 or a 2. Anything higher and I lose. Yeah! Holy shit, he had 27? Why did he hit? What a dumbass. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry there, Hoffman. Was that his final? Nope, that wasn't. This next one's going to be his final one, though. Yeah, you can see he's starting to get pretty ragged. His eyes are bleeding a little bit. His uh, his head's bleeding. He's got holes coming out of his shirt. It's pretty graphic. <laughs> this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Although, I really do like the horror setting of it. It's very unique. All right, what do I got? I got remove. Now, that's a good one. I can use that one to royally screw him over. Ooh, a two. Okay, so... Ten or lower is what I want. Oh, oh! he just wasted that. He tried to get a 5, but I've already got it. So that's what I mean. The AI is not, like, they're not omnipotent, so they can't see things that they shouldn't be able to see. So they're smart enough to know the right move, but they're not cheating, which is really nice. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to hit. There's no way I can lose off this hit. Oh, perfect. The perfect one. Yeah, the good thing is when you know you can't lose by hitting, no matter what card you get, just go ahead and hit anyway. See, like, right now, he's done for. You know what? I'm going to save that remove, because there's another round after this. There's no way, unless he has, like, a... I think it's a 6. I forgot to see what his total was. If he has a 6, he's got 21. Okay, yeah. Sorry there, Hoffman. You, uh... You just died. <laughs> Alright, look away, young children. You can't be serious. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Yep, uh, there goes Hoffman. He's dead. He's fucking dead now, right? Tell me we're done. Where are you at, Lucas? Okay, Clancy. You want found square? Guess I'll set you up. Huh? Well, blow me down. Oh. Look at Hoffman. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah, see, this is where Lucas is a little asshole. Hoffman, you tough son of a bitch. By the way, if you can't figure it out, Hoffman is dead. He's just he's bolting him to make him uh, look like he's alive. You promised to let me go. Hey, dick fuck, talk to me. Clancy's got a point here. This is where it gets a little funny. A little morbidly funny, black humor, as they call it. Oh, not this part. <laughs> this part's actually pretty graphic. But the, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Now this part, you can be screwed on really bad if you're not paying attention. Because he, uh, he really tries to cheat towards the end. Like, no way of winning kind of cheating. Because this time you're actually playing against Lucas himself. You know, uh, I don't think he's right. I don't think it's going to be like a massage at all. I've lost enough times. Yeah, see? <laughs> he's got him like rigged up like a puppet now. 
and he like mimics his voice and his lines as well. He'll just be like, "Please, I got a family." <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on this one. Seventeen's not bad. Now this one, you don't actually get tortured. It's just like, if it goes all the way to your side, you die. So, you can lose rounds on this one, and it doesn't affect you too much. Any fingers you've lost or volts you've taken, <laughs> all that's in the past now. Now it's just one final gambit. Alright. Now, if he has a 6 or a 7 there, that'll be pretty good for him. You know what? I'm gonna hit. It's early enough. Oh, wow. The worst possible... Co okay, never mind. Well, I'm gonna give him this round, I guess. Now it is kind of good to let it go back and forth because you can stock up on trump cards and you'll you'll be needing those towards the end as you'll see coming up. Yeah, yeah, I know it's I know it's me. Just send that blade in my direction. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, he still would have won anyway. So he had 18. So I'm not not too disappointed about my choice there. That was a lose lose. Now hopefully I get a trump card and make that victory a little easier. Yeah, there we. Okay, that's the exact card I needed. See, it's, uh, love your enemy. Your opponent draws the best possible card for them from their deck. So now, that sounds like a bad card, right? It is not. Because basically what it does is it forces them to draw a card. So if they have a card they, like, really need and their hand is 20, so it, the best possible card could be a 3. But if they're already at 20, that 3 will put them over to 23. So it's not like they'll cheat and give them a 1 and give them 21. It's literally the best possible card in the deck. So if that screws them over, it screws them over. But it's like, that was the best possible one. <laughs> so it's uh, it's very situational. You have to use it when they're very close to 21. Which I'm going to hit. Oh, nice. Oh, I got the 5 card. That'll come in handy. Ooh, okay, I'm staying. <laughs> There's, I'm not going over this. Yeah, the odds of me getting a 2 are extremely minimal. Come on, Hoffman. You little bitch. Now, if he has 11. Oh, we tied. All right. I'll take it. Yeah, 11 was the only card that would have made him win there. And since he upped my bet by 2, that would have really sucked. <laughs> Lucas and his antics. See, that's why he's my favorite. He has uh, he has the most personality. And his, his like, facial acting, whatever they call that, it's like, uh, what is, it's something motion. It's not motion capture. It's yeah, performance capture. That's what it is. Where the actor is actually performing. It's really good during a lot of his scenes. He's a very, very good actor. I'll give him that. All right, uh, let's see. What do I got in my hand? Do I have any... Okay, I only have two removes. You know what? I'll hit. Oh, good point. <laughs> good point. Good choice. Oh, really good choice. That was a great hand. <laughs> give me another. I'm going to stay, but I'm also going to raise his bet by two. Hopefully he doesn't have a destroy card, because those are very... God! <laughs> ah! It's like he has unlimited destroy cards. It pisses me off. Because there was one game where I put down three of those cards that raised the bet, and he always had a destroy for it. It was frustrating. You want to see frustrating as well. Watch this. <laughs> or remove his eight. I'm gonna stay. Yeah. How do you feel about that, huh? <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. Well, uh... You know, even if I get an 11, it's fine. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Alright, well, I guess I'm hitting anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm cool with that. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. You know what? Uh, if he doesn't have a four in his hand, I think I have that card. No, I have a five. Damn it. Uh, you know what? I'm going I'm to use remove again. Screw you. Piss off, Lucas. There we go. How you feel about that, huh? Okay, we're, I'm still good. Unless he's got a five under there. Uh, I'm just going to stay. Why not? Oh, you idiot. You bust. You're done. You're really screwed up on that one. <laughs> yeah, no shit, you'll stay. You have no choice there. Yeah, sometimes he likes to be like a game show host where he's like uh, just, just stalling for time. Yeah, he went way over. What the hell? <laughs> I love his like mocking voice. He's like, oh boy, I'm scared now. <laughs> All right. I don't think this is the final round. You'll know when it's the final round because you'll place a trump card that's literally cheating. <laughs> it's starting to get dicey now. What do you mean you'll stay? There's no way he's got a good hand. Uh, you know what? Unless he has like a 10 or 11, that'd be pretty good. Okay, so that's, a, that's an okay hand there. 
I think I have two of those return cards, so... Okay, I've got one of them. So I will hit again. Ooh, another trump. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> you know, that, was a, that was a bad draw there. See, the fact that he keeps staying makes me think he has a 10 in his hand. So I'm going to return that 11. Then I'm going to hit again. Okay, I got a 5. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to remove his 9. Yeah, he's got to have a 10. There's no way he's going to keep hitting if it's not. Yeah, I'll remove the nine. Hopefully he doesn't draw that again. I'm gonna stay. Then I'll stay after that. See, this is where it gets dicey, and this is where the game starts getting difficult. Now, there's a survival mode after this, which is pretty cool. It's basically like you have to beat five opponents without losing all your fingers. And it's, uh, it gets dicey, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, there's no way he has this. He has to lose this one. What? You kidding me? All right, well... <laughs> Look at that. That is, <laughs> that is a little too close for comfort there. All right. So if I lose this hand, I lose. So hopefully I don't lose this hand. Shit, and I got a 5 and a 10, so I can't... Oh, I've got return, though. That's pretty good. All right. Uh... Hit me. Yeah, I'll just hit, see what I get. Not bad. I will hit again after this and then return it if it sucks. Ooh, he got a 3, though. That's That would have been good for me. me. Oh, not bad. Uh, 18's pretty high. I've got good odds here. He could have an 8 under there, which will put him at 20. So yeah, if he has a 7 or an 8, that'll screw me. Uh, and he's got a 3, so I can't get 21. And I can't use this card, because you have to save it for the final round. Uh, shit. This is dicey. This is very, very dicey. You know what? I'll stay. Oh, oh, oh thank God. Oh, I saved myself another turn. Now, the number, as you'll see, will go up, so... Even if you draw, that number will still rise. Draw a five card. I've got two of those now. I can't use both. Oh, that's a good starting hand. And he's already got the five anyway. <laughs> Holy shit. What could he have in his hand? He can't have another five. If he has a 6, he has 21. Yeah, it's about the only thing that can beat me. I only have returns, too. You know, I'll put down one of these. I'm pretty sure he's going to destroy it anyway, but just in case. Yep, there he goes. If he has a 6, if he has a 6, I'm just going to lose my mind. Oh, thank God. Woo! <laughs> This is the closest match I've ever played. Usually I've already died or won by now. Although this is it. You'll see You'll see what I mean. This is the final round. And I think it gives you the same cards every time. Yeah, one and a two. Yeah, so it does give you the same cards every time. <laughs> and you'll see why he gives you a one and a two for this one. He's a snaky little bitch, I tell you that much. Yeah. Perfect draw. Draw the best possible card from the deck. Now in survival mode, that actually is a real card. This is now this one's not. <laughs> Both players' bets are raised to 100 while this card is on the table. Opponent cannot draw cards, even via trump card effects. So that means you literally cannot draw a card and you are stuck with three. <laughs> Briefly, you're thinking, I can't win. There's no way I can win. Because look, you got to draw here, you got to draw there, you got to return. That'll put you down to one. That's not going to do shit. Can't raise it back because it's already at 100. This is where this card comes in handy. Because right now, I think he has 21. So that means your opponent draws the best possible card for them from the deck. So that means he's got the best possible hand right now. So watch this. What the hell with this? Bam! Huh? <laughs> hey, what what do you think about that, you son of a bitch? See, because I have 1 and 2, so that means he can't have 1 and 2. So there's no way... He's got at least a 4 under there, so that means he's lost. I'll stay. Yeah. Come on, you bitch. Yeah, yeah, look at that, huh? Yeah. There you go. No, no, no. <laughs> See, now that part is spooky, because it does make it seem like Hoffman's still alive. <laughs> oh, yeah, there, there that goes. <laughs> he came to life just long enough to uh, get his face sawed in half. We're done now, right? 
Oh, Clancy. Oh, you, you sweet summer child. If only. Will you let me go now? You are one cold son of a bitch! <laughs> Now you impress me so much, I'm gonna give you an extra reward. We gonna play another game. You and me. <laughs> I don't know if I'd exactly call oh, that a reward. Friend. No! I can't take this anymore! Please! <laughs> you know what? I did pretty good this round. I only lost one pinky. Uh, he can live pretty well off just not having a pinky. Yeah, the first time he would have been screwed. His left hand had a pointer finger and a thumb. <laughs> so he wasn't going to be doing much for the rest of his life. That hand would have been ruined. All right, so that was that. That was uh, so far, I don't know, Bedroom was a cool one, but I think 21 might be my favorite so far. Nightmare is basically like a horde mode, so that one's pretty fun in its own right. But yeah, this one, I like the uh, I like the creative aspect of it. I haven't played this one yet. As you see, it still says new on it. So I'll come back, I think either Monday or Wednesday to play that one. And then again, either Monday or Wednesday to play Nightmare, which I haven't played yet. So I will have all the band footage out, so that'd be cool. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. That was 21 here. As you can see, when you click on it, you have Survival and Survival Plus. I may come back to play those at some point. I'm not sure. Same thing with Nightmare. You have Night Terror and Nightmare, which I think, yeah, see, high difficulty mode. So yeah, that means it's going to be way harder than Nightmare. So I didn't make it very far into this one, but I think that's just because I gave up halfway in there. <laughs> So yeah, you also get rewards where the longer you play, the more total points you get, and, and that helps you out in later games. So yeah, it's pretty fun DLCs, I will say. I'm glad I bought the Season Pass for this. And then, of course, you have the Not a Hero free content coming out in spring, so hopefully that means like March or April, so it's really close by. Oh, by the way, if anyone's still playing Pokemon Go, Gen 2 is out now, and I already caught a Sudowoodo. And uh, it's like a Meganium? I don't know how to say that one. It's the final evolution of Chikorita. So yeah, it's pretty fun. I would go ahead and give that a swing if you're still playing that game. Got a lot of new things in the new update. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time on Monday with some more Resident Evil.